so navigating here. I'm sorry, guys. Um, Sam, the um, I just want to be sure I'm recording. Um, so much going on. This has been a uh, it's been a fatiguing year for everybody, but for you guys, especially with all you've been through. Now you have all this clutter with with Coach Herman and the noise. You got guys opting out. What, how is the mental fatigue right now for you and this team as you're trying to to, to finish this thing up? Um, it, it, it's been an interesting year. Um, I wouldn't expect anything to go any differently in 2020. And it's un unfortunate uh, that this happened, had to happen, um, you know, for a lot of our senior years, but I'm just looking forward to, to finishing off the season and enjoying uh, the university and enjoying the teammates that um, I've really grown up with and developed with. And I, I look forward to playing in the last few games with them, for them, and enjoying them. Brian, go ahead. Yes, yeah, Sam, what, do you have any problem with Sam and Caden opting out? I don't. I, I love um, both of those guys. And I could talk to you for, for hours about the impact that they've had on my life. And um, you know, I'm so thankful for, for Cosme. Um, the, the way that he's protected me since, since uh, for a really long time. Um, I, have, I have so much to be thankful for for him. Um, you know, it's really comforting when you have a left tackle like Sammy because you really don't have to worry about that left side. And I, I can't say enough positive words about him. And um, I respect his decision and everybody's situation and things are different. Um, and then Caden, um, love him to death. We have developed as friends um, a lot this past year, you know, especially through all the, you know, everything going on with the eyes and the, the social unrest and just everything going on. Um, the perspective that I gained from my relationship with Caden and the conversations that we had, um, and then also the competition and practice, you know, um, the, the way that the way that we competed in practice from when he first stepped on campus early enrolled as a freshman, um, we just competed and we were always, always talking trash to each other, always driving each other to make each other better. So I have so much to be thankful for, for both of those guys. Um, I, I can't be mad at them because of the impact that they've had in my life. And um, I'm thankful for both of them. Have you given any thought to opting out yourself? Oh, uh, you know, Brian, I haven't, I haven't. Um, you know, I, I, while I absolutely love and respect them, I, I, I would never do that. Um, you know, I, I want to finish what I've started here and um, I want to, I will always give my all for my teammates um, and everybody's situation is different. I get that. Um, but I, I wouldn't. Thank you. Anwar, go ahead. Hey Sam, I have a, uh, you know, two questions uh, for you. The, the first question is, now that you're not playing to be in the Big 12 title game, what is your motivation uh, with, with going into these last two games? Well, I, I, I think that the, my teammates and this university are plenty enough motivation uh, to play hard and to play at the best of my ability um, for them because of everything that my teammates and I have gone through um, the, the challenges and everything that's happened, um, the relationships that, that we've built. And then also this university, this university um, and the past players and the fans and everyone who has a touch point with the University of Texas deserves, um, and this football program deserves players to, to give their all every, I mean, every week. And that's, that's my opinion. So, um, it's unfortunate and I would love to be competing for, for a championship. And that was always something that I wanted to do here, um, but I will never, I will never take my foot off the gas just because that's out of sight. Uh, my second question for you then Sam is uh, your level of concern, uh, you know, without having your, your starting left tackle there and having to throw someone in this week, I, I know you have faith in your guys, but at least how do you get, uh, you know, people up to speed, Christian up to speed. So, you, you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like you can actually operate it in the pocket. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be a, a challenging week for sure. 
um, to get to get whatever whatever that may be. Um, don't necessarily know what what that's going to look like yet, um, but it's just going to take attention to detail and uh, really really focus on putting in extra work and and getting comfortable with with that setup, whatever that may look like. Bob, go ahead. Sam, because of the way Saturday finished, obviously we didn't get really get to get into this much, but what were your emotions like um, as you went through your final game at the DKR Texas Memorial? And, and was there ever a chance for you to really soak anything in? I mean, I know you were so focused on the game, but, but did you ever have that moment? Yeah, I was, I was really confused uh, after the game because uh, you look at the, the things that we did, the statistics, everything. Um, I mean, we, we, we didn't play off on, but we lost the game. And I was just really confused and frustrated. Obviously it, it was never about myself or, or my senior, senior game, anything like that. It was just more frustration of losing the game and, you know, not, not being in contention for the big 12 championship anymore, but I've been reflecting over the past few days and um, it's, it's been challenging and I've been frustrated and, um, you know, just disappointed with the way that things have gone. And, um, but now I've, I'm going to use, I've been using this weekend and also I'm going to use these next two weeks to really just reflect on, on the beautiful experiences that I've had here at the university of Texas and, um, enjoy all the incredible memories and people that I've been able to do it with. And, um, you know, that, that is, something that I've, I've really struggled with my whole life just like reflecting and you know you always say, you guys always ask like what do you you know your experience here and I've never really taken the time to like sit back and say you know wow look at all these things that have happened that I've learned and so I'm, I'm really just going to enjoy um, now that I've reflected and, and kind of gotten that frustration out of the way from from last Friday I'm going to just try to enjoy these last two three four weeks um, and you know these last games and enjoy my teammates for this season. And, and then second, not trying to be Debbie Downer here, but there is an op a, a chance that the Kansas game may not be played. You never know with, with what's going on. And then obviously bowl games are being canceled left and right. Have you given any, have you played these games? Like this could be my last, this next Saturday could be my last. Have you let yourself go there to, to think those things? I haven't. No, I haven't. Um, just taking it day by day. Those, those are things that are, out of my control and I've if, if I've learned anything in 2020 it's to really control what you can control and don't make yourself upset with with those things that you can't because there's a, a lot of things that were out of our control this year and out of my control that I would drive myself crazy if I tried to control those things. Danny go ahead. Uh, two for me Sam um, since you are in a reflective mood are you essentially closing the door on a possible return next year? Um, that, that's a, that's a good question. I think that it's been more of a reflection of the experiences that I've had in the past, um, opposed to what, what's to come in the future. So still just in, enjoying every moment and I'm, I'm, I will re more evaluate that a little bit later. And then secondly, you know, since you guys are essentially eliminated from the, you know, conference championship contention, do these games matter for lack of a better word these you know trip to kansas state trip to kansas to these games matter absolutely if you truly love the game of football and you love your teammates and you love this program and you're doing it for the right reasons every game matters because it's another opportunity to play the game that you love um so I, I, I think that every game matters regardless of what you're playing for. Um, obviously, it adds a little extra motivation when you, when you have a championship in sight. But um, it'll, it'll really show who loves the game of football for the game of football or who loves what the game of football brings them. Kirk, go ahead. Yeah, Sam, I apologize for not hearing the first part of it, but I assume you never even thought about opting out, correct? No, sir, I didn't. Um, I, I don't know what, what you missed, but the first part, I just kind of addressed the, the 
experiences and thankfulness that I have for Cosme and Caden um, and the experiences that we've had together. But for me, um, I, I would never do that. And I know everybody's, I know everybody's experiences and situations are different, um, but I, I would never opt out. And, and then lastly, uh, I imagine you guys were just an emotional wreck, you know, Friday and Saturday. And how hard has it been to get back into gear mentally to play another game? Yeah, there was a whole lot of frustration and a lot of emotions um, and a lot of reflection. And I think now we're just going to enjoy um, the time that we have left with, with this senior class and uh, with each other and continue to play the game that we love. Brian, go ahead. Okay, Sam, if, if you do not return next year, if, 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 who should be the quarterback next year and what do you like between Casey and Hudson and Jaquinda? You know, that's going to be – I wish I, I wish that when that does happen, I could be around for that competition because um, three really, really good, talented quarterbacks. Um, obviously, Casey has has the the experience piece from being around here for a really long time. Um, he's I'm very thankful for Casey and everything that he's done for me um, on a weekly basis, just helping me prepare. Um, you know, on during games, you know, coming up to me and, and telling me what he's seeing and helping me out. He's been incredible uh, the last few years. And he's a really talented player. Um, you know, JJ is, he's a, he's an incredible athlete. Um, I think that everybody knows that from, from what he's done in high school. Mm -hmm. And every, I feel like every week he continues to get better in the system and, and learn more. And, um, you know, I, Hudson is, Hudson's the golden boy, um, throws a beautiful ball. Uh, we always make fun of him. It's like he, he came out of the womb uh, throwing spirals and doing, doing QB drills perfectly. Um, so he's, uh, he's, he's been awesome. So I, I, I'm really excited for, for all three of them. Um, it's going to be, it's gonna be a, a fun competition, and, and I, I look forward to following it. And, and I guess I guess I just need to ask this because you won't you won't close the door on this. What 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 are you contemplating about whether or not to move on or stay? What what is what is there to contemplate? Uh, I don't think it's necessarily the the contemplation piece. I think it's just the enjoyment of the present moment instead of looking too far ahead. Uh, because as I as I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to just enjoy every last minute of the, of, you know, the relationships and the people that are around right now before looking forward. And I've been trying to apply that in, in really every area of myself just living in the moment. Uh, TQ, kind of the same question, you know, Sam just addressed these last two games, going to Kansas State, going to Kansas. Do these games matter considering the fact that you guys are pretty much out of the Big 12 um, championship chase? Do these games matter to you? Um, they matter to me because this is uh, my last ride. This is my senior year, and uh, I'm gonna finish these two games and uh, finish the ride, you know. And um, I just want to be a part of the finish and uh, and leave on a good note, you know. Dennis, go ahead. Come well, on, you guys have been through a lot uh, this season, and there's still a lot of noise out there about Coach Herman, guys opting out. Um, can you tell me the level of, of uh, mental and emotional fatigue as you guys try to try to finish strong? Um, honestly, uh, I haven't thought about the Coach Herman situation at all. Uh, that's not really for me to speak on or think about. And um, uh, I kind of just want to get over the Iowa State game. And uh, I'll put that past me after, you know, Sunday's meetings and practice. And uh, Monday, uh, focus on Kansas State and preparing for them, preparing to finish off strong. Quick follow-up, were you able to counsel with uh, Caden on his big decision? And, and, and what, how do you feel about that? Have you ever thought about opting out? Did you have to mull over it? Uh, no, uh, I haven't thought about it. And um, uh, I didn't talk to Caden beforehand, but um, he told us and uh, 
he talked to us and he let us know how he felt about everything. And uh, I respect his decision. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed that he won't be with us uh, to finish the ride, but um, I'm happy for him and the success he will have in the following future. Kirk, go ahead. Yeah, TQ, when you say you're disappointed, are some of the players upset that, you know, that two of them decided not to play uh, immediately after the Big 12 title hopes were gone? Um, I hate to speak for the whole team, but um, I feel like a general feeling is that uh, we, we are proud of those guys and uh, we're thankful for everything they've done for us. Um, I think we cannot forget that uh, Caden has given uh, three long years to us and Sammy has given four, four long years to us. And um, uh, I think we can't discredit that because um, they made a, a, in turn, like a decision for their future and for their families. Uh, uh, I can't, I can't speak on that. And, and will it be harder to be laser focused on winning this game with the stuff swirling about your head coach and players opting out and not being in the conference race anymore? Um, no, I'm kind of honed in into these last two games because right now these next two games, uh, they mean everything to me. And uh, I think moving forward, uh, that's all that I'm going to worry about. And that's all I'm going to pay attention to. Bob, go ahead. Nikon, what were your emotions on, on Saturday or on Friday, I should say? What were your emotions on Friday like playing that final game at home? And, and what did you did you ever take a moment to just kind of reflect and think about things, uh, you know, about your about your career at Texas? Um, uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure immediately after a game, um, uh, after after we lost, uh, I went to the Longhorn and uh, just, you know, took a quick, you know, a little spin around with my head. Uh, just to take it in one one last time. Um, and I guess I kind of thought about everything in that one single moment and uh, just sad and disappointed how it ended, but uh, definitely grateful for these past four years. Danny, go ahead. Uh, TQ, I have two more. Um, obviously, we know what Sam and Caden mean to you guys on the field, but they were two captains. So I'm kind of wondering what does their – departure kind of what kind of void does that put in the locker room and does that put, put more um I don't want to say pressure is the right word but does, does that put more on you you know Joseph and Chris on defense um Sam and Derek on offense to kind of step up as leaders these last two weeks um we're definitely gonna have to step up and uh I would say steer the ship uh put guys in the right direction uh regardless of how they feel about how the season went um regardless of how they feel about you know uh, you know, Sam leaving and uh, Caden leaving. I think we just got to keep these guys on the right track. And uh, their departure hurts, but uh, totally understood. And we're going to move forward from there. You know, going back to even your high school career, I mean, Temple was always making these deep playoff runs, playing for state titles, all, all of that. So it's been a while since you've played in games that, like, didn't really impact the standings. Where are you going to find that motivation? And where are you going to, you know, find the motivation for your teammates? Um, that's where I say my motivation lies is uh, with my teammates. Um, uh, this this season isn't finished, and uh, they deserve to have my all and for me to give my best. Uh, you know, until the you know final seconds tick off the clock of the last game, uh, I'm gonna give them all I got. So and that's what they deserve. Kirk, go ahead. Yeah, TQ. What's your expectations from Kansas Kansas State? They've lost four in a row and gotten blown out in a couple of those games and have a freshman quarterback. So what are you expecting out of them? Um, I expect them to be the same Kansas State that they've always been. Um, a tough, hard-nosed team, uh, a team that's never going to give up, and uh, definitely a team that's going to come out there and be physical on each snap. Thank you.